Hi, welcome to another episode of Galaxy Gardens. My name is Chrissy. Today we're gonna to be doing some planting. We have some sweet corn that needs to get into the ground. I have a silver, uh, yeah, silver queen hybrid, and I have a blue jade, and we're gonna plant them together and see if they'll mix together. Now I also have some uh, Reed's yellow dent corn, but we'll plant that in a week, maybe two weeks, just so that doesn't mix with our sweet corn. Um, I also have tobacco, or tobacco is finally big enough to transplant. Um, I did some weeding, so we have room for all of this, which will be nice. And we're also replanting our strawberries. The bare roots from our strawberry planting video, if you remember that from a few weeks ago, didn't take off. Um, I've planted ones that were like kind of sketchy looking before, and they did okay. These ones just did not do okay. So I ordered some replacements. The replacements look amazing. So we're gonna put those in the ground. So I'm really excited. I think you're gonna be uh, pretty impressed with at least these strawberry roots, if not the other plants we have going. So I definitely want you to check it out. Let's go. Taking the girls out for a little walk. They're hanging out with me while I was doing some uh, thistle weeding over by our lingonberries. But over here, so last week, Ray was telling you we had some stuff growing in our backyard. Well, this popped up and I was like, wow, that looks familiar. Let's get that in focus. So if you know what this is, it is a pretty cool herb. So we uh, did confirm its ID. It's a common yarrow. So this is yarrow. And it's another one of those that uh, some people use for its medicinal purposes. Again, I'm not going to talk about that because I'm not an expert. I just thought it was pretty cool. I mean, look how tall it is in comparison to a chicken. All the way up there. So, we have that growing in our back. Now, I did grow, um, actually plant, excuse me, I planted yarrow uh, in a different part of our property. Uh, I didn't take very good care of it though when it died, so I don't know if its seeds ended up back here or what, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at those flowers. They're so pretty. So, I'll let the girls back here. And of course, we have this invasive. We cut it back. Uh, every time we cut it back, it just comes back harder, so hoping one of these days it doesn't take down the fence, but there's not really anything we can do about it. Except keep fighting it, so. Yeah, isn't that neat? Chickens and some yarrow. This is the hawkweed patch I showed you last week and it's all going to seed. You see these little pom-poms coming in. They're pretty cute. So we'll just let those go. I don't mind, uh, I don't mind stuff like that in our yard. As long as it's something that could be potentially useful to someone at some point, it could stay. Okay, so I already told you what kind of corn we are planting. I just wanted to show you the actual packets. So we have our Silver Queen, Blue Jade, and our Yellow Dent. This we're gonna wait till another week or so. But the Blue Jade seems pretty cool. We grew um, uh, Double Sweet Black Corn, I think it was what it was called last year. Um, and that was okay and actually left it too long and then milled it to make tortillas, which was fine. So I'm hoping this time around we like get this different color corn um, early enough. This one says um, it's best to harvest when it's just turning blue, which works because if it mixes with our Silver Queen, then that'd be pretty cool. So they have about a similar amount of days to maturity. Um, I don't think it says it on here, but I did look it up. Okay, this is 70 to 80 days, and I think this one doesn't say it on there. Um, yeah, so let's help these two mix together because that would be pretty cool. And then um, we're going to go ahead and plant them in our beds up front, which are doing really well. So I definitely want to show you that. Our rose campion 
is coming up. I threw so many seeds over here and actually started some inside and just planted them. You can see those. But they're so pretty. I just want this to be a, its own hedge because they're absolutely beautiful. Okay, this might make some people mad, but we don't soak our corn seeds before planting. We just send it. Some people like to do it for an hour, eight hours, overnight. Um, we've never had any issues just direct sowing it, so that's what we're doing. This is one of the beds that we're gonna put the corn in. So you can see we have some radishes that are flowering in here. There's radishes that are just about ready to harvest. I believe those are pink slipper radishes on the left and on the right are white icicle. Um, I don't remember. I think these were French breakfast, but they definitely didn't like the heat over here. We also have, oh, some form of sugar snap pea. I don't remember. Some of them are purple and some of them are green, which is kind of cool. So we're gonna leave those. We did plant beets here, but they didn't really take off. I think it just gets too hot during the day. They're like just starting to do stuff now. So we're gonna plant corn in between all of this. And by the time the corn comes up and it's big enough, um, it'll be time to pull this stuff out. This is our other bed that we're gonna be planting corn in. And you can see our turnips are actually doing really good. They're all bulbing. I've never had turnips do this good. So you can see over here, these other ones are bulbing. So I'm gonna leave those. We have some more sugar snap. I know these for a fact are the super sugar snaps. So I'll leave those in there. And these were the black Spanish radishes and they are flowering. Let's get that. Really pretty flowers though. So we're also gonna plant some corn around here. Now I know what radishes are good and which ones are not good in heat. Those, those peas fell over. We just got a lot of rain this morning. So um, these ones next year, we'll just save them for the fall. We'll plant them in the fall anyways, but we'll just uh, let them go to seed. That's totally fine. Again, as the corn comes in and starts uh, taking off, it'll be time to take this stuff out anyways. So we'll just plant around it. I've been harvesting these super sugar snaps and they're actually really delicious. So. I'm gonna pick a bunch of these before we go in today. Planting corn's really easy. You can just make a small trench and I'm planting this silver queen about six inches apart from each other. Uh, we can thin it out. I uh, hear it's a variety that gets pretty tall. So we're just gonna go and make a lot of rows of these. It looks like it could fit about 11 with the spacing per row. And then our uh, rows here will also do about six inches apart. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. I want to harvest those turnips, so I think we'll plant the dent corn over there. But you can see here we have an alternating kind of row. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We'll probably thin it out as we go. And even though I want our corn to mix, we'll probably switch it up about halfway and plant the blue jade on the other half. Okay, this worked out pretty good. So we have all our corn spaced out. This is gonna be the last line of Silver Queen. So we'll start the Blue Jade over here. And we have just enough left over that if anything doesn't germinate, we can just replace it. This Blue Jade is really pretty. And I'm pretty excited to try it out. I used to care a lot more about my stuff not crossbreeding, but We'll just experiment this year. And if it ends up being pretty cool, great. If not, um, we do have a farm stand down the road, so if we absolutely need to buy corn, we can go do it. This is our practice homestead, so this is a place for learning and experimenting and skill building. We are almost done here. I just need to finish 
sealing up these rows. We had just enough in our packages to fill this up. Okay, we are all done here. Let's go sit down and have a chat really quick and then we'll go plant our tobacco. But don't those look so pretty? All right, I left my tripod outside, so let's see how we can do this. This corn is gonna do really well. I wanted to get the sweet corn in before the dent corn because we do get winter and I don't mind our dent corn getting a little bit cold before we harvest. Whereas our sweet corn, we definitely wanna get it and we don't want it to freeze. You might be asking yourself, why are we planting it in between radishes, in between snap peas? Won't those like shade it out? Won't they get in the way? Not really. Uh, all that stuff is going to be coming out in the next week or so. Uh, we have temperatures in the 80s and our snappies very likely are not going to keep producing for much longer. Um, we got one big flush coming in right now. We're just waiting for those to plump up and we're going to go ahead and harvest them. Um, but after that, you know, probably not going to get much more. Maybe one more flush. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and cut that down to ground level. So by the time our corn germinates, it's gonna have all the room it needs and some extra nutrients in the soil from those cover crops. And we also have our organic fertilizer, so that's gonna be just fine. As soon as that corn does sprout though, uh, we are gonna plant our dent corn. I'm not too worried about cross pollination. The dent corn has a bit of a longer days to maturity than the sweet corn does. And uh, also, you know, if you're doing su successive sowings, um, you can wait till the first one germinates. You can give it another like week or two if you're really worried about it. We're on a little bit of a time crunch. Um, as, I mean, it's not too bad as long as we plant it by then June. So we'll, we'll get it in, we'll see what happens. And we'll probably be planting that dent corn within the next like seven to 10 days. So I'm excited. Here we are at our grain beds. You can see here we have our sorghum rice. We have some upland rice and triticale. And then we have this space here for our tobacco. Here we have our tobacco, which needs a little bit of water, but that's okay. We have Virginia gold, which is our tallest one. It should give it about six or seven feet tall. We have to do two rows of three, so we'll have six. Next, this is Big Gem. We'll have two rows of three, also six. This, I believe, gets about five feet tall. And then we also have Petite Canadian, which I only have three of, because we had ran into some issues. Um, but that's, I want to say three to four feet. So the way the sun works is uh, we just want the tallest one in the back, which is why we also have triticale rice and then sorghum. So we'll see how it goes. This is our first time growing tobacco, so they are definitely way too close together, but I'm just gonna do it and we'll see what happens. So I'll get these in, I'll show you what it looks like. These look so good. We're gonna get them watered in and I'm going to hold on to these just in case anything dies and we'll go from there. That looks really cool. The corn and the tobacco are watered, so they look great. Let's open up our strawberry package and I'll show you what we have to replace the ones that didn't grow. I won't say where I got these, but I did get some more strawberries and you can see they're already putting out leaves here. And let me open this up, I'll show you how healthy these roots are. Now this is what you want when you get bare root strawberry plants. If you remember from the last video, they were very short, dark, they weren't looking good. I was hopeful, strawberries are pretty durable, so I was hopeful they'd take off, but they just didn't. So these ones are also banded together with a rubber band. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this whole thing, I'm gonna put in this bottom section and some water, we're gonna let it sit for about 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna take them apart, and we're gonna go ahead and plant them but I need to do some weeding first. So let's set this to soak and then we can go do some weeding. So just like last time, we are just soaking the roots. We don't want to get the crowns wet. So I'll leave these and go weed. And when we come back to it, we'll plant these. So we have, or should have, I'll count them after they soak. We should have 20 plants. 
This just gives me the ick. Look at all that. I'm going to go ahead and get all of that out of here ASAP. You can see our other strawberries doing good. I did not finish my fence. I got to do that. But we'll get there. Okay, I'm a busy lady. And these ones are doing amazing. There should be... Hmm... There's one in here somewhere that I'm waiting on. These are the White Carolinas. Uh, let me find, oh, here we go. Look at that. White Carolinas. When all those seeds are red, I'm gonna pick it. It'll be ripe and ready to go. That did not take as long as I thought it would, but I finally got this weeded. And it's been about 10 minutes, so we're gonna wait a little bit longer and we'll come out and I'll put the strawberries in and we're gonna call it a night. I'm gonna fight the urge to water everything. You can see our beans over there starting to come in. My focus is the strawberries. All right, I went and grabbed our strawberries. And you can just, I mean, these look fantastic. So we actually ended up with 19. That's okay, I was like, buy one, get one free. So that's fine. Um, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna spread them out like squid or octopi. Have the crown, this part, from like my thumbs up are gonna be outside of the ground. So this is gonna be above the soil. And so I'm gonna put all these in. If you wanna see the actual technique, you can watch the other strawberry video. Maybe I'll show you one. No. You know what? You can go watch the other one. That's fine. Let me show you what these look like all together. And they're really, really quite stunning. I'm very happy with these. Just like before, you want to space them out about 12 to 18 inches. So for this area, we can fit about 12. So we have some extras. I'm going to find places for those. But otherwise, let's get these in. So these are called Whopper June Bearing Strawberries. So, I mean, we probably won't get any this year. That's fine. They'll be ready to go for next year. And we'll get, I'm hoping, like a big crop at once. So that's pretty exciting. Let me get these in the ground. I changed my mind. I decided to show you again. So you just want to spread out the roots, keep the crown up, and then I'll show you what it looks like with the soil over it. There you go. That's it. You leave the base of the crown up and if you're lucky enough like I am where some leaves are coming out they will be coming out of the soil so that's pretty cool so I'll go through the rest of these ones and I'll show you what that looks like when it's done those look beautiful I had to show you this before I finish this one's an absolute beast look at that that's awesome let me go ahead and get that in there that's just gorgeous it's so meaty Really happy with that one. So after just planting this, I actually found one of the ones from the other week, just totally dead and dried out. Just can't even compare. I mean, that was just absolute garbage. Order, order your bare roots online. Don't just go pick them up from the big box store. Or if you do pick them up from the big box store, if that's all that's available to you, at least check the package before you buy it. And I'll just like buy it and go home like I did terrible. But this one, that one looks mint. All right, so you can clearly see where all of these strawberries are. I think for fun, what I'm going to do with the extras is put them under our fruit trees because they make great crown cover. And then what I'm going to do is water around these plants just to get them going. Now you don't want to give them fertilizer right when you plant them. You want to wait till they start putting on a good amount of top growth. As far as watering goes, you're gonna be watering around, not on top. You really don't wanna be watering the crowns right when you plant them. Now, if it's gonna rain, you, you can't really control that. You could put dumbs over them if you wanna be like really on top of it and doing a good job. I don't have that much stuff to put on top of them, so they're on their own. Um, but I will give them water. We'll just go in between everything, but not on top of the crowns. And like I said in the last video, 
you know, four to six weeks, we'll see a lot of growth. These already have leaves on them. So I'd imagine we're gonna start seeing growth on these within like, I don't know, two or three weeks, maybe less. But that's, that's pretty awesome. Oh yeah, so I have just enough to put it around there. Six fruit trees that already have mulch on them. So they're each gonna get their own. And as this grows and it puts out runners, we'll have it go around. And if we have any extras, we'll go ahead and put it on our apricot and mulberry once I, obviously I need to mulch those too. I'm taking a short pit stop at our thornless blackberry because I just love it so much. I mean, look at that, gorgeous. But it's setting berries already. Look at that, isn't that so pretty? Love it, love it, love it. Oh, I also put a strawberry between these two blueberries. So, that one lives there between our pink lemonade blueberries. It is so difficult to fight the urge to water everything, but we're getting rain later in the week and we just got rain today, so I'm gonna wait. Now that I've caught my breath, I'm gonna go ahead and water in between. So if you remember our winter garden, I started some leeks and bunching onions. So in between all of the strawberries on the inside here, like right there, I put my warrior bunching onions. And then I have American flag leeks, which I put in between all around the edge. So they'll stick out more when I water, so let's do that. Okay, so you can probably see we have one there, 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 and so on. So those will grow in just fine. I finally, I did not find the leek seeds that I lost in my garage, but I bought some more. So we'll be planting more of those elsewhere. Uh, but all I have to do is water the ones by the trees and by the blueberries, and we're gonna call it a day. I am so pleased with this. These look great. So if you wanna buy them, highly recommend just ordering them online. These got here in like a week. All right, I just watered a little bit. You can see our uh, Mayflower beans coming up there. I put a little bit of California poppies in there. We'll see when those come up. These are all cowpea beans. So, should be interesting. So far, nothing's eaten it, knock on wood. They stay survive. Um, I at least have backups of these. But all of the uh, strawberries and the trees are watered and happy. They look great. Oh, you can, I don't know if you can hear it, but you can hear all the water moving through here. That's so cool. You can also see here, we have fennel in the middle, cardoon. I forget which side, one of the sides is dill and the other side is non-bulbing fennel. Here we have your strawberries and the same on this side. So this will be interesting once it all grows in. I think this is gonna look a lot different in about a month. One last look at my thornless blackberry for good measure. You know how people get excited about their rose bushes? I get excited about blackberries. Especially ones as stunning as this. Some of the flowers are gone because berries are coming in, but still, I mean, look at that. We're gonna get so many berries. Anyways, let's go over here and water this. And, uh, yeah, so strawberry's done. I didn't think I'd be planting so much in June, but here we are. It's still technically like the first couple weeks, so that's not that bad. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate your company while I plant so many things. I didn't think I'd be planting anything right now, but here we are. <laughs> If this is helpful for you, please check us out on other social media apps, or if you want to send us a tip, we have a link tree down in the description. If you have any questions or comments, anything like that, please put it below in the comments. Otherwise, we'll see you next week. We'll be doing a garden tour, and I'll show you everything behind me, plus some broccoli, and I hope you have a good week.